Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. It's November, hello, happy November. Today I'm gonna do my October favorites. I just want to chit chat about the makeup, skincare, jewelry, lifestyle, food, etc. that I've discovered and have been loving in the month of October. I hope you had a wonderful month. I'm very excited that we're entering holiday season. I just, I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving food. I just love this cozier time of year. It makes me so happy and I'm just really excited to kind of wrap this year up as well. As usual, these aren't necessarily my end all be all favorites of all time. I usually try to do random roundup favorites every so often. Like I'll do seasonal favorites. I'll do affordable favorites. I'll do random different favorites throughout the year. These videos are more so just the things that I discovered in the month and found I was using a lot. Before we hop into it, I did film this look. Of course, it should already be up on my IGTV by the time this video goes up. My plugs are from Love Kills Boutique and this necklace is from Ana Luisa. So I think that's all I really need to say. I don't feel like I need to babble too much in this intro. So let's just hop in and chat about my favorite. Let's go over skincare because I don't have a huge, huge pile of skincare in front of me. The first I want to talk about is something I've had for quite a while. It's the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. I went through a period, a very long period, probably a year where I wasn't really using masks anymore. It just wasn't really my thing. I don't know. I just felt like not using them. And I've kind of started incorporating masks back into my skincare routine this month. And I rediscovered this one, which I've had in my bathroom for who knows how long. And I love this. It's this thick creamy moisturizing mask <laughs> that you plop on your face, let it sit for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off and it just feels so moisturizing. I love how hydrated it makes me feel. I love using this like kind of midway through the day if it's a day like today where I filmed and chit chatted but I don't want to wear makeup much longer than that. So I take it off and then I kind of just chill with the mask on, start editing. This has been so nice. I'm so glad I rediscovered it. It's fantastic. Next, I got a PR package this month from Pacifica. I got their vegan collagen skincare, like whole line. I will break down the line in general in my upcoming PR roundup review, but I wanted to talk about my two favorite products that I'm already really loving from that line. I have the Vegan Collagen Complex Serum and the Overnight Recovery Cream. This serum I use after cleansing and toning, but before eye creams and moisturizers. It just feels very hydrating. It feels very slippy on the skin. Really like the way this feels. It smells very clean. I just am really liking this um, serum. I've been using it about three times a week for the last month because I got this at the very beginning of the month and I'm just really liking it. And then with the overnight recovery cream, again, I use this about three times a week. I use this at night. It's a very thick moisturizing moisturizer and it again just feels really nice, feels very hydrating. It's nice and I don't want to say it's plumping, but I feel like my skin just feels like fresh youthful baby skin when I wake up. It's very nice. This might be one of my favorite nighttime moisturizers I've discovered. Really, really liking this stuff. Okay, let's dive into makeup. I actually have a decent pile in front of me, so I guess let's just go in the order that I do my makeup. First, I wanna talk about the Soul Body Rose Glow Oil. This is my first time trying one of these glow oils. The only other ones I have from Soul Body are the Shimmer Dry Oil, which are also nice. They're very sparkly, kind of sticky feeling, but they do add a nice, like, summery, shimmery shine. <laughs> I'm getting all tongue twisted. This is really nice because it just makes my shoulders and collarbones look super wet and highlighty. If you've noticed my shoulder area just looking extra glowy in the last month's worth of videos on um, the videos where my shoulders are exposed, that's completely because of this. I freaking love this. Sometimes I'll top my face highlight on top of it in certain spots, but this is just beautiful. When I first got this from the That's Taupe collection from ColourPop, I didn't think I'd really use it that much because I'm not really using the shimmer ones right now either. Even though the weather here refuses to get cool, it's been 80 degrees for weeks now. We haven't had a taste of fall since like the very beginning of the month. I didn't think I'd really reach for this just because I'm in fall mode, but because I have had to just keep wearing my tank tops because it's very, very hot outside. This has been nice. It makes my skin feel nice and glowy without feeling like beachy because I feel like the shimmer dry oils almost make me feel more like summertime beachy where this just makes me feel glowy and romantic. Don't know how better to explain that, but I'm really liking it and I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I didn't think I'd use it that much. I do want to try another shade of the Glow Oil formula in a lighter shade. This one is kind of like 
right on par with my skin tone, if not like one shade darker. So I have to really make sure I blend it in with a kabuki brush so that it, there aren't like a harsh line or stop anywhere. But overall, I do really like this. This is the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in the Cool and Light shade. I got sent this, I guess, at the beginning of the month as well. Love this. I literally haven't used bronzer since I got this. I've been on such a contour kick ever since I started using this about a month ago. I just freaking love it. I think it's the perfect contour shade for my skin. I literally don't think I've ever been more happy with a contour product than I have been with this. It's such a nice, compact, perfect little situation. I think it's going to last me forever because even with consistent use, there's no dent in this so far. I'm very excited about it and it just makes me very happy. I find the powders to be super blendable and I just love everything about it. Moving on to blush. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. This is a little bit cheating because I've only been using this for about eight or nine days, but I've used it about seven or eight times in that time frame. This is the new Blush Palette Volume 1 from Menagerie Cosmetics. I know that this is expensive and it's large. This was sent to me in PR, full disclosure, but I probably would have snagged this for myself because I'm such a blush fiend regardless. Um, but I do understand this is very large and not everyone's cup of tea to have a palette this big for blush. I do believe they are coming out with singles, just so you're aware. I'm loving this. I've used every single shade except Blueberry, I think, and maybe not the red one, but I've used every other shade. I'm wearing the yellow one right now. It's like one of the prettiest blushes I've ever used in my life. Persimmon is also one of my favorite blushes currently. I think it's so pretty. I'm just overall so excited about this palette. I think it's so beautifully well done. It's incredibly pigmented, so if you're not someone who likes pigmented blush, this is not the one for you, but if you like very pigmented blush, this might be exactly what you're looking for. I'm obsessed with it. I can't put it down to save my life right now. The past like seven or eight days of using it have been so much fun. I have two highlights to talk about. This is the ColourPop Seismic Highlight from the That's Taupe collection. That collection just made me very happy. I was shocked at how happy it made me. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's already quite a dent in this. I've been using this so much this month. I'm wearing it on my cheekbones right now just think it's so pretty. It's kind of champagne-y, kind of pearly. I just freaking love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the Super Shock Highlight Formula. Flexitarian's been a favorite for literally years, and I'm happy to have a new favorite highlight from ColourPop because this is just stunning. I do still think I like Flexitarian a teensy bit more because it's just that extra bit more blinding, but this is so pretty and I can't put it down. Next up is a present that I treated myself to. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector in the shade Quartz. I saw this and I was thinking about it for quite a while and I'm so glad I finally got it. I want to start by saying that this is very similar, like so insanely similar to the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. It like looks pretty much the exact same. I'm not sad that I have both though, just because my Fenty one is getting like very old and I have a decent amount of pan in it. I don't know how well you can see that. It's just wet and sparkly looking. There isn't like much of an underlying pigment to it. It just looks like wet, icy sparkle. I believe he has three shades of this. He advertises this to be used for the eyes and the cheeks. In the demo that I saw, he only used it on the eyes, but I got this for the purpose of the cheeks because I just live for like a wet, dewy, sparkly cheek. It's so pretty. I'm really, really liking this. I like applying it with my finger or a brush or my sponge. I find my finger or a sponge works the best, but it does still work nice with a brush as well. I think it's super, super pretty. You know, let's just pop a little on my cheekbones right now. This is my ColourPop F33 brush. This came with the Stone Fox palette. This actually could be considered a favorite, but I've only been using it like five days, so I don't want to judge too early. Just look how wet that makes the cheekbone look. It's so insane. I mean, granted, my cheekbones were already super wet looking, but wow, it just adds that little extra kick and it's making me quite happy. So I'm glad I treated myself to that because I've been thrilled. Moving on to the eyes, I have three eyeshadow palettes to talk about. The first is the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. Again, I'm also surprised that I fell head over heels in love with this one. It just hits all the marks for me for a ColourPop palette. There's no sequins, there's no pressed glitters, it's a cardboard palette. I feel like this is a very well done curated nine pan. We have a nice range of tones, we have five mattes. I feel like I can do a very deep look or a nice light look. We have three shimmers and one super shock shadow. I think all of the shimmer tones range like differently very nicely. I feel very glamorous when I wear cool tones. This is just my alley when it comes to neutrals. This or like a mustard, but not everyone would consider a mustard a neutral. I just really like this. I think it's very quick and easy to use. I feel really pretty every time I use it and I'm just, 
I'm really liking it. I've reached for it a few times before work. I did do a first impressions with that and I do plan on doing an IGTV video soon. So just stay tuned for that because it is coming. And next are the two new Kaleidos palettes. I'm in love with these palettes. They're so pretty. I did already do first impressions with these combined together. I did two separate two looks videos with each palette and I have done Instagram videos with both as well. If you wanna see a variety of looks, I'm having a blast with them. The Lunar Lavender is hands down my favorite. It looks like this. So pretty. I had zero issues with patchiness. It all blended like a dream. I love the purple tones. I love that beautiful duochrome right here. It's mouthwateringly delicious. I love the cool tone browns. I feel like you can do quite the variety of looks even with these six pans. I just think it's flawless. I love this palette. I think this is my favorite one Kaleidos has ever come out with. It's beautiful. And next we have the Sashimi City. This is such a beautiful neutral palette with a twist. I love these pops of pink. The two duochromes in here are also just so beautiful. Again, I feel like you have quite a range of looks you can do even with just these six shadows. Kaleidos absolutely killed it. I love the formula in here and the six pan palettes just make me so happy. They're always so beautiful and perfectly curated. So much fun and I'm very happy with these. These are some of my favorite palettes I've tried this whole year actually. Actually. Next is the Hocus Pocus ColourPop Amok 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 Glitterly Obsessed Glitter. I cannot stop using this glitter, especially when I use my collab palette with Shroud. I just can't stop using it. I think it's so pretty. It's like this kind of purple, blue, pink, multi-colored sparkles. It's so freaking beautiful. The Glitterly Obsessed are not meant to be used around the eye area. I personally do, but do as I say, not as I do, you are not advised to. But I just wanted to throw this in the video because I can't stop using it. I think it's so fun and for sure my favorite glitter they've come out with. The last eye product I have, which I think I meant to talk about in last month's favorites but completely forgot, it's the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner in the shade Chartreuse Flash. I've had a lot of people telling me to try this new eyeliner formula from NYX and I finally got around to trying one. Of course I had to try the Chartreuse one because who would I be if I didn't? I don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera, let me try to like make the swatch a bit bigger. But it's just the most beautiful metallic chartreuse. It's literally a chartreuse flash. It's so pretty. I love popping this in the waterline. It's so cute. I want to try some more shades from this line, but I also don't need a lot of new eye pencils, so I'm trying not to. But I love this one. This was definitely a hole I had in my eye pencil collection, and I'm happy that it's now filled. All right, lip products. I'm officially a lip liner person. Who would have ever thought? The two lip liners from the ColourPop That's Taupe collection I'm obsessed with. We have Cool BFF and Ashton. This one is Cool BFF right here. And I'm gonna put Ashton right next to it. They're just nice, cool tone, neutral kind of lip pencils. I think they're beautiful. I wear usually one of these every single time I wear a lip gloss now. I can't wear a lip gloss without a lip liner. It's just not who I am anymore. I've evolved. I also have this one from Musée Beauty called Degas. It's also a brown. This one's a bit warmer than the other two, but not by like a ton. Really like this lip pencil. They sent over five to me. This is the one I've used the most. I have used two of the other ones, but this one's my favorite so far. I'm just really happy with the lip liner life so far. I want some more in my collection, but I think I have a good start and I do have a couple other in my drawer. I just kind of have to go through them and see like what's expired or what's still like a color I might use because I did have some from back in the day, but I'm excited about these. I'm excited about this new kind of makeup discovery that I like doing, so that's really fun. I do have discount codes, by the way, with ColourPop and Mousse Beauty. ColourPop is 5 Butte Bean. It saves you $5 on orders 25 or more. It works on most things, but it doesn't work on every single collection. I don't make any commission off of that one. It's just for you to save money, and it also shows ColourPop that I sent you, which is cool. And the Mousse Beauty discount code is Butte Bean in all caps. That will save you 10%. That is an affiliate code, so don't feel pressured if you don't like that, but I appreciate it very much if you use any of my codes. Thank you very much. Continuing with lips, the two glosses from the That's Taupe collection. Like I said, I was very happy with that collection. I think I liked every single piece of it, but I really like these glosses and I'm not a huge fan of the ultra glossy lip formula in comparison to other ColourPop ultra glossy lips. This one is called Rattler. It's just like a nice creamy cool tone neutral. It's really, really pretty and it's very shiny. I do like this formula. I just don't like it as much as like the So Juicy glosses or the Luxe glosses, but I do still like it. It's just not my favorite. I think if it wasn't a brush tip, I would like it even more. 
This one is Queen Cobra. It's kind of a sheer with sparkle in it. This one I've reached for so many times this month. I think it's so pretty, especially with the lip liners that came in the collection. I was just overall very happy with these lip products, that collection in general. A plus collection for me. And the last makeup product I have to talk about is another gloss. This is the Crystal Trinket Gloss from Sugar Pill. They sent it over along with their new shadows and I've been so happy with this gloss. It's so pretty. It's exactly what I wanted because Trinket is one of my favorite lip colors. It's just this really pretty warm, pinky neutral with a gold shift. It's so pretty. Feels very hydrating on the lips. I really like Sugar Pill's gloss formula. This one isn't as slippy as Flicker or Bloom because you guys know how much I love those. It's a little thicker than that, but I still really enjoy it. Oh, okay, we made it through makeup. I have one jewelry item to discuss with you. It's these cute earrings from Undoubtedly Mad. Look how precious. They are SS Georgie boats from the It movies. Freaking love it. Let me give you a close-up. Do you see how freaking precious that is? I love it. It's so cute. If you know me at all, you know how obsessed I am with uh, Pennywise and the new It movies. And when I saw these earrings on Undoubtedly Mad's site, I think I got these like six weeks ago. I just fell in love. They're so cute. I love them and I just wanted to shout them out. Undoubtedly Mad is such a cute Etsy shop. If you are into funky earrings, I highly recommend checking them out. I have a couple lifestyle -y things to talk about before we get into food. The first is Zane and I got a Roomba. I don't know the exact model off the top of my head. I'll have a picture of whichever one we got up here on the screen. We knew we wanted one for the new house when we move in less than four months. I can't believe it's less than four months now, but we knew we wanted one and it was on our wish list. And then when we saw a good deal of one, I jumped on it. It was like four or $500 off. It was such a good deal. And I was like, Zane, if we're gonna get one ever, we need to just go ahead and get it now because it's so much money saved if we do that. We didn't have high expectations for it here in the apartment because it's like old carpet and I don't know, we just didn't have high expectations for here, but it actually works fantastic on our carpet here. We have four cats. They make messes with litter all the time. And you just know with carpet, if you've ever lived with carpet, it just gets dirty all the time. And that Roomba is so good. They're so smart. I knew that Roombas were smart and they're supposed to like map out your house, but actually seeing it in action, it literally gets in every single nook and cranny ever imaginable. It cleans the carpet so nicely. You can see the vacuum lines in it like if you were to vacuum it like with the big vacuum. I'm so excited because if it works that well on this apartment's carpet, it's going to work great on our hard floor at the new house and that was such a good investment. I'm already so thrilled with it and we've only had it about two weeks. It's so good and I can't recommend it enough. Roombas are so expensive. That's why we haven't had one forever until now but it was something we've been saving for and planning for, and I'm so glad we have one now. It's already such a lifesaver. Our particular one doesn't even need us to like clean it out because it cleans itself out at its station, and we only have to just clean that out every so often when it gets full. I don't even think we've had to clean it out once yet, and we've literally been using it almost every day for two weeks now, so that's pretty cool. Very low maintenance kind of situation. I love it. Next is a really random one and not something I ever thought I would talk about, but Morgan's mom gave her their old soda stream. So Morgan brought it obviously to us because she lives with us and Zane started using it. It was never something I was interested in. I'm not a soda person. I'm not a sparkling water person. I just like water and coffee. That's pretty much it. But he started using it. He was using it with just like those Mio drops for the first while. I didn't like it. It just tastes like flavor bubbly water. I don't like that. If you like that, you might really enjoy it. He loved it, but it wasn't my thing. But then we went to Bed Bath & Beyond to replace the canister because if you trade in your old canister, it's only $15 instead of 30 to get the the bubbly air <laughs> in a can basically and we were looking at the flavors they had in stock and they had one called like diet dr pepper it's not called dr pepper because that's trademarked it's called something else like dr dr something <laughs> it's their equivalent to a dr pepper and wow that's good i know i already said i'm not a soda person and i'm not i don't drink it often but when i do i'm very strictly like root beer or dr pepper i'm not a huge like Mountain Dew, I can't stand Coke or Pepsi, I think it's disgusting. But this actually does taste like Dr. Pepper. It tastes like off-brand Dr. Pepper and it's quite nice, really good. And I don't know, I'm happier about this soda stream than I thought I would be. Something super random again, but I just thought I'd throw it in here because it was a discovery that I'm actually quite pleased with. 
Next, let's talk about food. I have another Bones coffee flavor that we discovered over the month, and it's so good. I wish we would have ordered more than one of it because it's so good and we already ran out, so I'm gonna have to order more soon, but it's the Franken Bones flavor. I really hope it's still available by the time this video goes up because I know it was one of their uh, Halloween flavors and this is going up on the first, so hopefully it's still available. It's like chocolate hazelnut and it's so good. Probably my favorite, if not one of my favorite flavors from Bones Coffee so far. It's so, so yummy and I can't get enough of it. It's so good. I just love that coffee brand entirely. I know I've talked about them a thousand times, but... Just wanted to throw out my new favorite flavor in case you're interested. I will have my referral link down below. I don't know if there's a discount code attached to that. It might just be a referral link, but just so you're aware, um, I'll always have it indicated if it's a referral link, but <laughs> I'll have that down there for you if you feel like checking out the site. The last food item and just item in general I have to talk about is the brand Sweet Earth. They have this product called the Mindful Chicken, and it's a fake chicken, obviously. I don't eat meat, um, and it's so good. It literally just looks like cut up chunks of chicken. You cook it on the stove, like in a pan. We personally made it into like chicken alfredo. My gosh, is that good? It was so yummy. It really does kind of taste like chicken. It's been a few years since I've actually actually had chicken so it's hard for me to remember and compare but I feel like it tastes pretty chickeny. Zane's pretty much like 90% vegetarian where he eats the occasional chicken <laughs> once in a while but even he loves it but he's not very picky with my fake meats he thinks they're good too if anything he likes a lot of them more than I do I get a bit more picky but we both think they're fantastic it's so yummy it's expensive it's like seven dollars for that pack but we just justify it as like divide it in half it's like him and I each had a three dollar and fifty cent like add on to our dinner or something like that. It's not horrible, not super cheap, but for once in a while, it's good. And I just figured I'd shout it out because it was quite yummy. Whew, anyways, that's it for my October favorites. I feel like I had a bigger list of things than I usually do, but sometimes months are just like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I hope you had a great month. I hope you have a good November as well. Please leave me your favorites down below, whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, food, lifestyle, literally anything, just leave me your favorite things from October down below. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me your current favorite emoji. And if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beauty and follow me there. I post every single single day and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with Black Lives Matter. There's a link in my description box that will take you to resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.